In this tutorial, I'm going to cover the shape effect within X lights. So here is the icon, and I'm going to drop it onto the timeline. And instantly you see lots of circles appearing in this case. Before I carry on, I'm going to cover the color options within this effect. So if you can see, I've selected three colors, red, green, and yellow, and you can see that there's red, green, and yellow disks, but I could select additional colors. But it also supports the color curves. So you see now, if I tick this, this sets a color that transitions over time, and I can link these with static colors as well, so we can have the full selection. Now the effect itself, you can see there's the ability to do lots of different shapes, so things like hearts, and stars, etc, etc. You can actually have a random shape and then lots of different things will appear. But an interesting one is the emoji one, because obviously there are thousands of emoji icons and by knowing the emoji code, you can actually have lots and lots of different effects available to you as well. And increase the size, well, Okay, so that's the emoji. Let's go back to circle just so I can show you the rest of the effects. So the first effect is the thickness. If I pull that in, all you see is the outer circle. Let me turn this velocity off. So you only see the outer circle. As I increase the thickness, it becomes more of a disc. Count is the number of circles that appear on screen. So if I just want a few, there you go. If I turn this off, I can specify the start size of the circle. So if I want them to start off small, I can do that, or large, you create different effects. Or I can just choose random and it will randomize the start size based on this particular start size you choose. So, you know, this will randomize slightly larger ones against smaller ones. Velocity, so this will put a bit of movement. So I can see I'm moving up the screen or I can change the direction as well. Lifetime is how long before the disks fade out. So if I put it to 100%, you can see they only disappear once they go off the screen. So let me turn the velocity off. You can see there, yeah, they, they live a lot longer. Whereas if I go like this, you can see it's a very quick animation. Growth is whether the disks or shapes increase in size or decrease in size or actually stay static. So there, if I set it to zero, you can see they don't grow or shrink. I want them to gradually get smaller, I can do this. Now you notice these options, the X and Y coordinates are blocked. That is because here I have random location selected. If I choose this to non-random location, it just fixes at that central point and then I can move that particular shape around moving down let me let me turn the random location off again then we also have a case of random movement so like this one this option where it was going in a fixed direction you can see each shape is moving off at a different direction fade away yeah if we if we turn that off and we increase the lifetime to full you can see the items stay on the screen a lot longer. Old color, this will make sure that the shape stays the same color over its lifetime, otherwise it will, you know, can gradually change. Then we have fire with music. So you notice when we tick this, it sets a trigger level, so it will listen to our music track and then Hopefully the intensity of the effect will grow with the intensity of music, more shapes appearing on screen. We also have fire with a timing track. So you need to select a timing track and then if any beats on the timing track will cause the effect to fire and shapes to appear. So that is the shape effect within X-Lights. Until next time, see you later.